Being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease is the beginning of a long and increasingly difficult road. In this short video, we will reveal what is now believed to be the two main root causes of Parkinson's disease. Then, we will show the latest academic research on several key nutritional supplements that may address these two root causes. Parkinson's disease may include, but is not limited to the following symptoms. Anxiety, apathy, clumsiness, cognitive decline, depression, difficulty sleeping, difficulty swallowing, digestive issues, diminished libido, exhaustion, impaired posture and balance, loss of automatic movements, rigid muscles, sexual dysfunction, slowed movement, speech changes, tremors, and writing changes. What is the problem? A neurotransmitter is a chemical means for brain cells to communicate information to other brain cells. These treatments work to some degree for some people until the disease progresses to a point that these treatments are ineffective. The long-standing gold standard to treat Parkinson's disease is through L-DOPA, which serves to artificially replace the missing dopamine, but it does not address the root cause. This means that L-DOPA does nothing to slow Parkinson's disease advancement. In fact, some studies suggest that the metabolizing of L-DOPA causes further oxidation, which then accelerates the progression of the disease even more. In an attempt to compensate for the ongoing progression of Parkinson's disease, the administration of L-DOPA dosage and frequency is increased periodically. Eventually, the symptoms caused by L-DOPA become another contending problem. This problem is called dyskinesia. Dyskinesia is a problem in which muscle movement becomes uncontrolled. Eventually, Parkinson's disease becomes an uncomfortable and frustrating battle between symptoms of the L-DOPA treatment itself or the disease. At some point, some consider a surgical procedure called deep brain stimulation, or DBS for short, out of desperation for some limited short-term relief. Deep brain stimulation is an invasive neurosurgical procedure involving the implantation of a medical device called a brain pacemaker, which sends electrical impulses through implanted electrodes to specific parts of the brain to reduce tremor symptoms. If you have noticed, the primary treatments serve to artificially replace dopamine. There are no proven treatments to slow or stop Parkinson's progression. Are you ready for something interesting? Academic research has made significant advancements in the field of Parkinson's disease in the last few years. Contrary to popular thinking, Parkinson's disease is not a dopamine problem. Insufficient dopamine is an effect, not a cause. The real cause of Parkinson's disease is related to a cellular mitochondria problem. It is now known that on a cellular level, the mitochondria of the cells in the substantia nigra region of the brain are dysfunctional. The mitochondria retain the responsibility of allowing critical nutrients into a cell and providing adequate energy to all cellular functions. If a cell does not have adequate energy to support its intended function, what do you suppose occurs to a neuron in the substantia nigra that is intended to produce dopamine? The answer to that question is obvious. The energy-starved cell no longer produces dopamine, which of course means the brain has less dopamine and the path leading to Parkinson's symptoms begins. These dormant cells are eventually labeled as useless by their own dysfunctional mitochondria and are then programmed for self-destruction in order to save resources for surrounding cells that are still functioning correctly. So, in short, dopamine-producing brain cells begin to starve to death. They stop producing dopamine, causing a dopamine deficiency. Eventually, these cells die, thus causing a permanent dopamine deficiency. Unless the mitochondria can be repaired, brain cells continue to go dormant and die, and Parkinson's symptoms progress to the same degree. This is not the only problem related to the mitochondria. They also now know that there is a problem in the overproduction of a particular protein called asynuclein. This protein clumps together and is determined to be toxic by the brain's dedicated immune system. This causes neural inflammation and severe oxidation in the substantia nigra, thus further stressing the already energy-deprived neurons by placing them in a highly toxic environment. Understandably, this also accelerates cellular death and quickens the progression of Parkinson's disease. These are the two main causal problems of Parkinson's disease. One, a lack of cellular energy causing cell death. Two, 
toxic asynuclein clumping, also causing cell death. So what now? Ideally, a person with Parkinson's disease would want to restore and support their mitochondrial function in the substantia nigra. In other words, the first step to delay Parkinson's progression would be to stop the brain cells from starving to death. If Parkinson's disease is caused by the death of brain cells, the obvious solution is to slow or stop brain cell death. If brain cell death is caused by an energy crisis and protein clumping, then any solution must include restoring energy production and stopping and removing the protein clumping. Brain cell death is a process. It does not happen overnight. This is why Parkinson's disease is a progressive disease. There are some cells that have not yet died, but are simply dormant. If there was adequate cellular energy, these dormant cells could then be reactivated to continue to produce dopamine if energy production was restored by the mitochondria. If that could be accomplished, there would still be several remaining problems. There is a need to inhibit the asynuclein protein from forming insoluble fibrils. It is necessary for the existing clumping to become water-soluble so that the brain is then equipped to remove the toxic aggregates from the substantia nigra. Lastly, there needs to be a means to neutralize the oxidation and neural swelling that stresses the surrounding dopamine-producing cells. So again, there are two main problems that cause Parkinson's disease. The mitochondria struggle to produce cellular energy. The brain cells lose their dopamine-producing function and eventually proceed to cellular death. A particular protein, asynuclein, clumps together and encourages a toxic environment caused by the brain's dedicated immune system. This causes problematic oxidation and inflammation. In the last few years, significant research has been published that may assist in addressing these main root causes of Parkinson's disease. What we will show you now is research surrounding seven key supplements that we have also intentionally chosen to be a part of our increasingly popular supplement formula called Restore Gold. Step 1. Restoring Mitochondrial Function in 2014, the academic journal Brain, along with Science Daily, published some groundbreaking research originating from the Sheffield Institute in the United Kingdom. The title of the article in Brain is, Uroscalanic Acid Rescues Mitochondrial Function in Common Forms of Familial Parkinson's Disease. Impressively, they tested over 2,000 compounds to determine what compounds retained the potential of restoring mitochondria dysfunction in Parkinson's disease. Taking this a step further, the Journal of Molecular Neurobiology published this study in late December 2014. Ursodeoxycholic acid ameliorates apoptotic cascade in the rotenone model of Parkinson's disease, modulation of mitochondrial perturbations. In this particular study, they found that this compound prevented cellular death in a rat model of Parkinson's disease. It is understood that when ursodeoxycholic acid is metabolized by the liver, it is immediately combined with taurine to form tararsodeoxycholic acid. This may be why other studies using tararsodeoxycholic acid, such as this Parkinson's disease mouse model, showed similar positive results. These bile acids have been used by the Chinese for over 3,000 years to treat conditions that are also caused by unwanted cellular death, such as liver disease and eye problems. Similarly, these studies suggest that taurorsodeoxycholic acid may slow or even stop brain cell death in the substantia nigra by reactivating the mitochondria, thereby restoring the necessary energy production and allowing the still existing dormant cells to once again produce dopamine. Equally important, it is known that these compounds cross the blood-brain barrier. In short, these studies suggest that it might be possible that tarorsodeoxycholic acid could not only slow or stop brain cell death, but possibly restore some of the dormant brain cells back into dopamine-producing brain cells. Step 2. Supporting the restored mitochondria and dopamine production. If mitochondrial function is restored, it would logically follow that supplying the mitochondria with the nutrition it needs to produce cellular energy might be of high value. L-tyrosine is a necessary ingredient in the formation of dopamine and may assist in increasing a natural production of dopamine and regulate the administration of L-dopa supplementation. Studies have shown that L-tyrosine may increase the levels of naturally produced dopamine. Step 3. Alpha-synuclein aggregate inhibition. 
Inhibiting alpha-synuclein aggregation simply means slowing down or stopping this troublesome protein from clumping together and forming toxic fibrils. Green tea extract, or EGCG, has been shown to inhibit alpha-synuclein aggregation in Parkinson's models and crosses the blood-brain barrier. Gallic acid, which is found in grapeseed extract, may not only inhibit alpha-synuclein aggregation, but also may break down the already existing fibrils into soluble form based on recently released research. Grapeseed extract may also offer neuroprotective qualities to those with Parkinson's disease. Step 4. Oxidation and Neural Swelling Alpha-lipoic acid and acetyl-L-carnitine both have demonstrated success in neutralizing neural swelling and oxidation. A recent study discovered that combining the two together works up to 1,000 times more efficiently than the sum of each in isolation. N-acetylcysteine is one of the most important ingredients in Restore Gold. It is known to be a glutathione precursor. Glutathione is often referred to as the master antioxidant in the human body. Antioxidants are used by the body to combat oxidation. Cysteine is the bottleneck ingredient that is often lacking in glutathione production. Recent studies have demonstrated success at boosting brain and blood glutathione with N-acetylcysteine in Parkinson's patients. Very recently, according to a controlled clinical trial published in June 2016, N-acetylcysteine alone increased a Parkinson's patient's UPDRS score by an astounding 13% after just three months. As you can see, Parkinson's disease is a complex disorder but it is also evident that there may exist some hope in slowing or stopping Parkinson's disease progression. What happens when all of these supplements are combined into a synergistic nutritional protocol? We Have Parkinson's has been receiving feedback from those that tried Restore Gold. Let's watch some feedback from those who have experienced Restore Gold. 14 years ago at the age of 44, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. My main symptoms are tremor in my right hand, terrible handwriting, and some difficulty with memory and staying focused. My wife and I had been seriously discussing me having deep brain stimulation surgery when a doctor told me about the positive benefits of Restore Gold that he had seen in another of his patients. Because I had taken already countless number of supplements in the past and spent all kinds of money, I was really hesitant to try something new. Even so, hoping to delay the surgery, I began taking Restore Gold about four months ago. A little bit more than two months into taking Restore Gold, I begin remembering things better. I've been more engaged in my daily activities and at times have spread out my drug doses longer. The only thing I've done differently these last four months is taking Restore Gold. I know it may seem too early to celebrate, but I am confident that Restore Gold is helping me remember things better. If you're like me, I'm sure you get tired of hearing about yet another product that may help my Parkinson's. I'm glad I was told about Restore Gold and I'd recommend that you try it and see if it doesn't help you as well. My only regret is that I didn't know about Restore Gold whenever I was first diagnosed. I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's disease. Because of Restore Gold, my disease has not progressed in nearly three years, and I'm still doing better than when I was first diagnosed. My tremor in my left index finger uh, disappeared after about four months. I have more energy and I sleep better, uh, my focus has improved. About three months later, I noticed that my tremors had disappeared in my hands and in my jaw. I was walking erect rather than hunched over without a shuffle or a gait issue. My voice had become more, more powerful and my handwriting normal. I would and I have recommended Restore Gold to other Parkinson's patients who are newly diagnosed. I think it's reversed my symptoms. I've been taking Restore Gold for about six months now. My symptoms have not progressed. I have not increased my medication from my very low dose. I'm fully functional and can do pretty much everything that I did before. I feel good. I feel healthy. I feel positive. And I'm able to have enough energy to work full time and raise my kids and travel and have fun and live my life. And I have Restore Gold, I think, to thank for a lot of that. And I recommend it to my new community of friends who have Parkinson's. My wife found Restore Gold on the net and we checked it out, asked my nutritionist his opinion. He 
He checked out the research and said, give it a try for three months. After one month, my mind was clear and I began to feel much better. I have been on Restore Gold now for six months. I walk better and feeling much better. My wife has noticed me smiling more and I'm less emotional. I feel more confident and I'm sleeping better. I have shared this story with others and have recommended Restore Gold to others. I started taking Restore Gold six months ago after reading all about the product and the customer reviews. After two and a half months of taking Restore Gold, I noticed a tremor in my right hand was reduced, my balance was better, my legs were stronger, and my handwriting became larger. I have recommended Restore Gold to others since I've seen such a dramatic improvement and no progression of my Parkinson's symptoms. My neurologist hadn't heard of Restore Gold, but was very impressed to see such an improvement in my health. I started taking Restore Gold about four months ago after seeing the testimonies online. And after about three months of taking it, I started noticing that I felt better. I had more energy. I was able to sleep better. I didn't feel like I had the flu or was ill all the time. I just felt overall uh, an overall wellness in my body. I also felt that my depression was lifting and that my gait was better. I seemed like I could walk faster than I was. I had more uh, energy to walk faster. I've also been sleeping a lot better. I would recommend Restore Gold to others with Parkinson's because of the positive results that I have experienced. I have also not noticed any acceleration of my symptoms since taking Restore Gold. And also, the last visit I had with my doctor, I told him about Restore Gold, and he was pleased with the positive results I had exhibited. I started taking Restore Gold two and a half months ago, and it's really helped me out a lot. Less fatigued, have more energy, sleep a little bit better. I showed it to my doctor, he said it's safe to take, he said it's a really good product. He said, keep taking it, and it's, it's what's helped with me. While not everyone has the same beneficial experience, often the shared results are very positive and very exciting. We encourage you to visit our website to read some of the customer feedback for Restore Gold yourself. These supplements are certainly not an established treatment or cure for Parkinson's disease. However, the ongoing research is cause to be optimistic and many do report benefits not achieved by any other means, often within the first 30 to 90 days. For more information, please visit us at wehaveparkinsons.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Please consult your healthcare practitioner before beginning any supplement program.